In the last video, we created our foliage branch and what we're gonna be doing now is applying it to our tree. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is make a copy of this foliage branch. We don't wanna be messing with it. I always like to keep a backup in my scene just in case something goes wrong with the current one I'm working on. So what I do is I just select the lot and then hold shift and drag across. Make sure you select copy for this one. So I can even name it here, backup if you want to be really clear with that. So now with this one just here, I'm going to select that small branch and I'm just going to move it closer to where it needs to go. I'm going to start with this branch, which is the first branch we created on our tree. So I'm going to select the small mesh, the base mesh for our foliage branch. Go on to animation, constraints, and then path constraint because we're going to be linking this to the path of this branch like so. Now what you should in theory be able to do is move the foliage branch up and down the path of this larger branch but obviously it can be a bit glitchy as you can see so there is something you can do you can go into the motion tab which is fourth tab across just here and if you scroll down you'll find percentage along path and then you can just increase or decrease the value until the branch is where you want it so i'm going to go right to the end here and then I can go on to rotate and I can simply rotate this where I want it as well. Now I've got the reference just here on the side, so it can be useful to have that visible. So I'm just gonna go in my front view and line that up where it should go, back into perspective. And I'm just gonna push it back a little bit just to give myself a bit of space so that I can see exactly what's going on. It's gonna be near impossible to make it look exactly the same. So you just wanna keep referring back to that reference and just tweaking, rotating, scaling the foliage until you're happy with the way it looks. In fact, I'm gonna push that aside because it's kind of getting in the way. I'm finding it tricky just to see what I'm doing with that foliage in the background there. Now, once you're happy with the placement of the first branch, what you can then do is you can just make a copy of this branch and then continue with exactly the same process. So I'm just gonna double click on the small branch linked to our foliage and that'll also select the foliage planes as well. And then I can just shift and drag and then press instance and then just press okay. And then we can repeat the process. So select just that small branch that it's linked to, go into the motion tab, scroll down and then change its position along the path. Now again, you wanna change the angle here. You wanna try and vary this up as much as you can. Vary the scale as well. It doesn't matter so much here whether there's any overlap because it needs to be very dense. There's gonna be some, and I think you actually need some for it to look dense. Once again, when you're rotating these branches just here, you wanna make sure that you change your reference coordinate system to local. It's gonna make it a bit easier again just to rotate these. And one thing that's worth mentioning is when you have your line coming out of the model, so where the original branch was and it was following the path of the line, what can happen is if you're trying to, I'll show you an example. If we're trying to move this branch and it's facing this angle just here, we're trying to move it down the path. You see how it's gonna follow that line and it's gonna actually be out from the actual mesh. That's because the line is poking out and that's not what we want. So what you can do to fix that is, if I just undo that positioning of the branch, is if you go into the line, go onto vertex, select the point and just push that back in. It may adjust the model very slightly, but it's definitely worth doing so that you don't have any issues where there's gaps between the small branch and the large branch. Now also for a bit of troubleshooting, if you get an error or a problem where you duplicate the foliage branch and you move it along the path and you try to rotate and it snaps back to the origin, then what you can do is either you can rotate it first and then move it along the path, which is quite a tricky way of working, or you can simply go onto the max icon, reset, hit yes to reset, open the file up again, and it should be perfectly fine. So just move it along the path rotate it, there you go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue with just this first branch here. And once I get that done, I'm gonna be showing you the end result and then we'll go from there. Okay, so that's the first branch complete. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be going back to my backup, which is just here. And I'm gonna be making a copy of that and then starting again with the next branch. So the same process applies. Select the little foliage branch, go onto the animation tab, constraints, path constraint, 
and then click on the next path, which is this branch just here. Now this process is gonna be exactly the same as before. So I'm gonna be completing the rest of the tree and then showing you what it looks like at the end. It does take a little bit of time, but if you put in that bit of effort, obviously it's gonna be quicker as you go along anyway. So you will get faster. And try not to be too perfect to start with. Just, just try to get in as much foliage as you can. Obviously balance it out. Don't put too much in, otherwise you're gonna, your triangle count's gonna skyrocket. And just try and fill out the spaces. But to start with, you just wanna fill it up as much as you can. And then you can always go back and adjust it. So here's the final tree. I've added the foliage to the base tree mesh and I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. I've tried to get the overall structure and shape of the tree from the reference image. And I have to say that it's not looking bad at all. In the next video, I'm going to be fixing the vertex normals.